What's going on everyone? Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be going over how to install the MIUI 10 port ROM onto the OnePlus 6 and going over the ROM just a little bit as well. A few things that you are going to need to do. First you need to ensure that your device is running a unlocked bootloader. You also need to ensure that you're running the latest beta from OnePlus, so that would be the Auction OS Beta 8 um, based on Pi. And we need to download a few things first. So you need to make sure that Fastboot ADB is set up on your computer. I recommend minimal ADB Fastboot. You also need to download the proper files from the uh, forum here on XDA. You have the actual ROM itself. This will work on OnePlus 6 and the 6T. You're also going to want to go ahead and download the TWRP custom recovery, both the zip file and the the image as well. That way we can boot into TWRP. So what you're going to want to do first is actually go ahead and if you're not on the latest beta Oreo from Oxygen OS, you need to install that both on both slots A and B. So in order for you to install MIUI and or update it, you're going to need to download the ROM and then extract the MIUI folder from within the zip file, which we have here. There's a bunch of different uh, batch files to run, depending on if you have a OnePlus 6 or 6T and if you want to format your phone or not. Um, so I recommend doing the format um, so that way you start fresh things like that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and actually boot our device into Fastboot. So ADB reboot uh, bootloader. Here we are. So we can already see my device is unlocked. Perfect. And what we're going to go ahead and do is since I have a OnePlus 6, I'm going to actually be doing the, the format. So we have the OnePlus 6 flasher window. So you're going to want to run that. Um, if you don't want to format, then you select the one below, such as if you're updating the ROM that sort of thing. So we're going to go ahead and double tap on that. It's going to go ahead and automatically do everything that it needs to do to, to flash the ROM. It's going to take several minutes, so give that uh, some time and we'll be right back. Alright, so this is now done. Next what we want to do is go ahead and boot into TWRP so that way we can flash the NFC and audio uh, zip file. So we're going to go ahead and do fast boot boot blue twrp one plus six dot image. Again, that's just how I have mine named. Yours can be twrp dot image, but for my sake, I have it um, labeled much easier for me to understand. Um, also, again, before you do any of this, back up your phone. This is going to wipe your phone in case you run into any issues. Um, it's going to save you a lot of heartache to have that backup, backup any text messages, any files that you have on your phone, that sort of thing. Very, very important to do that before messing with your phone. So what we're going to want to go ahead and do next is first go to mount, and we need to mount the vendor um, partition. Always remember to do that if you're going to flash um, with this MIUI ROM. Okay. So next. Now since our device is currently plugged in, uh, we can go ahead and, and transfer over that um, TW, that NFC crash fix file. So we can see here NFC crash fix 1.2 and we can go ahead and paste it into our um, TWRP directory. We can see that's here. Confirm flash. Alright, it does even say make sure vendor is mounted before flashing. So remember to do that, kids. What I recommend doing is after we boot into TWRP that you actually flash TWRP recovery because installing MIUI will actually install um, the stock, uh, I believe, Oxygen OS recovery. Um, you don't want that. You want to be able to use TWRP. And so that's what you'll need to do. And then you can go ahead and then just reboot system and it'll boot up just fine. Now I did run into issues where sometimes um, the device may have booted to fast boot and then if you try to boot 
into the system or into recovery, um, it just boots you back into fast boot. What you need to do is just basically set uh, whichever um, slot A or B that the ROM was installed on, you just need to activate that slot. Um, so for example, you will need to go into um, fast boot and then basically fast boot, um, get var set slot a active that sort of thing you'll need to google that um, that could be another video if you guys have any issues and there we are we are now booted into MIUI there's no setup of the actual um, device there's no walkthrough or anything I'm not sure if that's normal or if there was supposed to be one or how to get that to work so now you have a fresh installation of MIUI at this point in time so here we can see MIUI 10 running on my OnePlus 6 here. So a few things, it's not going to come with Google Apps or anything like that. You're going to have to sideload the uh, Google Installer APK to install all the Google services, Play Store, and things like that, which then you'll be able to um, install apps, assign into your Google account, things like that. Um, full screen gestures do work here so we can see that by swiping up and holding it brings you up to your recents swiping up real quick will actually bring you home and then if let's say for example we are in an app let's say here we can swipe from the left or the right to go back so we can actually go into settings as you can see this little animation there shows back um, fingerprint scanner does work as we can see so that's pretty fast um, the face unlock does not work so if we actually go into the lock screen settings manage face um, it lets you enroll a face but it won't unlock um, so that's another bug something else I've noticed is with my device plugged into my computer it's actually not recognized um, by the computer to transfer files um, so you can only transfer files really over maybe Wi-Fi Bluetooth or um, it'll work in TWRP so you just saw file explorer it never does anything um, it keeps saying charging um, the auto brightness is a little finicky it kind of stutters as it increases and decreases. not a big issue there um, the flashlight toggle doesn't work um, but other flashlight apps do work nonetheless um, what else dual apps does work here um, so you do have for example I have Facebook there if we go over to the very end here we can see the dual app of Facebook so that works as well um, I don't know, I just noticed on UI the installation downloading of apps just takes a long time from the Play Store. It takes forever to actually download. Um, I have my, have this rooted with Magisk. I installed all my apps via the, uh, the Migrate app, which you can download. So if we go to Migrate Custom ROM, this is amazing. This is an amazing tool. I might do another video on this. So basically you basically back up all your apps and app data from your previous ROM, let's say Auction OS or whatever ROM you're running, back all of it up, right? It'll create a zip or several zips depending on how big it is. You'll then, once you flash your new ROM, such as MIUI here, and let it boot for the first time, you need to make sure that you do have Magisk um, root installed. Then you'll go into TWRP, you'll flash each of the zips. I have three, one of three, two of three, three of three, flash all of those sequentially and one zip and then basically um, once you're booted up you'll go open the migrate app and restore all the apps and it restores all your app data and things like that so use that whenever you're transferring um, between different things um, so anyways uh, there's no camera built into this at the moment so MIUI camera isn't working but you can use uh, Gcam or Oxygen OS stock camera, that all works there. Um, data works, phone calls works, GPS works as well. Um, I haven't been able to get my contacts synced from Google. I know someone else said ha they have been able to do it, but I haven't. Um, I, 
I don't know. Um, this is not Daily Driver, to be honest. I don't think it is, uh, just because there's so many little weird things not working quite right. If you're willing to put up with those things, then by all means, have at it. Um, but yeah, so under display, we have your, you do have always on ambient display. So we can see here, that's that's working. Um, so you have MIUI always on. Um, the double tap to wake screen is not working. So that's something else to, to sort out. Um, themes wallpapers are working, so you can install themes uh, here, but the me account is not working, so you can't log into your Xiaomi or me account or anything like that, so keep that in mind. This ROM is based on the Xiaomi Mix 3 Chinese edition, so you have Mi AI, um, you have the settings for the, uh, the Mi AI, AI button, you have the slider settings, things like that. And when you reboot the phone um, or boot it up for the first time, it'll actually show Mix as the boot animation. Um, Mix 3 isn't out globally yet, um, so there's once that is out, more than likely the developer will get this working with um, with that for the global ROM instead of the Chinese ROM. Huge thanks to Proto Dev Nano for porting this ROM over. He's done a couple other ports as well um, for the OnePlus 6, 6T. Um, we have lock screen. You have all your different settings here. Home screen recents. You can change the launcher. Um, full screen display, you can always put to these navigation buttons. You can mirror the buttons down here from the left being on the left hand side like I have. Um, battery, battery usage, things like that. Um, yeah, if you're not used to MIUI, this is going to be definitely a jarring experience for you. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you do have your like notification light, which at the moment is actually not on even though it's plugged in. So LED light maybe not be may not work at the moment. Um, yeah, so I ran into huge issues with with this. I installed it last night. So here you can see the the boot animation mix with the little Android powered by Android down there at the bottom. And here is the lock screen. So you have the charging animation dash charge does work. I noticed um, on the home screen, swiping over and then tapping this flashlight causes a lockup, or actually it just locked up just now. Um, and basically you have to wait for the system to respond. And yeah, so a lot of weird things going on. This is not gonna be my daily driver to use. Um, Unfortunately, so I can't really go over battery life and how it works. The developer has produced several um, updates to this ROM already. He has promised to provide um, usually monthly updates when a new security patch comes out. Um, hopefully he can get all these other bugs worked. Maybe he can include Google Apps built in um, into this. That would be great. Find device, close unexpectedly. That pops up every once in a while because the me account doesn't work. Um, so keep that in mind. Don't worry about it if that pops up. So we're going to listen to uh, some non-copyright music here. And we can see the audio works. There is the sound volume slider, which is actually nice for Pi and MIUI. I don't know, I like the visuals of MIUI, like all these little small animations, and it just looks really appealing it looks beautiful but it's just so convoluted and complicated and just bogged down with a bunch of stuff um, that I don't know you, I can't get used to um, so yeah as we can see contacts no contacts there I, I've tried installing all the way over here at the end Google contacts nothing's there even though I've enabled it to sync that sort of thing NFC does not work so Google pay will not work at that point or transfer anything NFC related. Flashlight, like I've already mentioned, won't work as well. Uh, the Mi account is not working. The Mi UI camera isn't, so you'll use Gcam or Oxygen OS as mentioned before. And then also the auto rotate 
will basically freeze your device. Um, if you do accidentally um, auto tap on the auto rotate to turn that on, um, just tap it again and your device will be unfrozen. But auto rotate doesn't work, so bear that in mind as well. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. If you guys have questions on uh, this ROM or any terms of the installation process, anything like that, comment your questions down below. I'll do my best to try and help you out. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on how to restore your device in case you brick it or something like that because it happened to me. Um, I want to be able to help you all out. Thank you for watching everyone and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care.